Recently, there has been quite a lot of bullishness in PayPal, so I want to revisit the numbers and provide somewhat of a fundamental based price target on PayPal. But first, since July this year, PayPal is up 24%, and since the lows of October of last year, PayPal is up 40%. Apparently, in the past few days, the news is coming out positive in favor of PayPal because it's expanding a strategic partnership with Adyen, which is in the UK side of things, I believe. And that's supposed to be fast tracked, which is leading to a lot of bullish price action. That's all good and dandy. All we care about is the business. I updated my worksheet where I track the earnings and I noticed that analysts have gotten more positive between 10 and 20 percent higher EPS on these numbers for each year. This was closer to four dollars and now they're expecting four dollars and forty cents for this year in 2024. Currently PayPal has a 16 PE, which is an attractive average PE for the S&P. However, PayPal looks like could be growing faster than the S&P. So PayPal should be a better deal than the market as a whole. The real strategy in a, in a stock like PayPal would be to hold it when it's beat up and then let the earnings grow for one to five years and then sell when the multiple is higher. So if we can get a 20 or 30 multiple on any of the future numbers, we would see a significant rise in the stock. Let me show you my worksheet real quick. My worksheet shows with these new earnings updated that the future value of PayPal could be some somewhere in the $200 range. And that is using the growth rate and applying a rosy multiple on that growth rate. It's probably around a 30 multiple on the 2029 EPS. So my price target to sell in the next five years would be something like between 165 and 224. So I, although PayPal has risen as much as 40% from the lows, there is still value in this stock. Therefore, I will continue to hold a name like PayPal. It's not even expensive on an earnings yield basis. The earnings yield is 6.2. So no matter what, the business will grow 6.2% per year, even if the earnings don't grow, because I believe the earnings will grow over the next five years, I'm willing to hold this until that $200 range materializes based on the business fundamentals. PayPal used to be a $300 stock. It was beat up down to the 50s. So it is not a wild and crazy expectation to believe that the earnings power of PayPal could lead it to head higher into the $200 range. Over a 10 year period, if the earnings keep growing, I would expect an even higher price target for PayPal as a business. Seeking Alpha has this great feature where they will show you the previous earnings expectations. And when you look at PayPal's, you can see that they've come down significantly. Four to five dollars is the norm. 2029 could have eight dollars, but at one point, analysts were expecting that PayPal each share could earn over $20 in earnings uh, per share. So the earning potential in PayPal might be greater in the future if PayPal plays its cards right. So if we could see a higher multiple like that, the price target for PayPal could be even higher, but it all depends on how the new management at PayPal plays their cards and if they can grow their earnings in a better economy. Right now the economy is slowing and earnings might be tight, but anything could happen in the future 
And that's actually the upside, the extra upside I would be hoping for that some of these earnings expectations expand in the future. On my TradingView platform, I'm looking at the ratios for PayPal. Price to cash flow is only 10. Enterprise value to EBITDA ratio is also around 10. It's at 9. Price to sales is at 2, 241. So in the rosiest of times and the most optimistic of times, PayPal had a multiple on sales of 13, 14, almost 15 times revenue. Right now it's only 2.41 revenue. So if I saw PayPal rise and have higher price to sales, that would be a clue that it might be getting a little heated, but this 2.41 times sales, we have a lot of room to rise still. So here is my updated chart with a expectation of future value 200 to as high as taking out the highs at 309. I put a green box right there. Anything can happen, but hey, we have to cheerlead these stocks because we are investors and we are looking for potential upside. Value investors must find value deals and then let them mature into their full potential. Let me know what other stocks you're looking at or if you agree or disagree on this analysis. Cheers.